Welcome back. Today, we are gonna be talking about the best educational tool on the market, the BrainPad. After about two years of hard work with teachers, students, schools, we believe we have the best educational tool. It's the BrainPad. The BrainPad can be used as a programming, electronics programming tool and it can also be used in any STEM program meaning you can use it in physics class you can use it in math you can use it in science you can use it in so many ways if you are using it to learn programming it's a great tool with Visual Studio IntelliSense it makes everything super easy to learn programming but you're also at the same time learning programming the right way you're not doing using like a weird language that somebody invented it's a language that is used by professional uh, today we have visual basic and c sharp as options now if you're not using brainpad to learn programming and electronics you can use brainpad with a pre-made applications and those applications can be used to measure acceleration for example in a physics class and those can be shown on the screen and put on a, on a file that you can uh, you can plot on a pc uh, for example now with these brain pads i have right here we have quickly put a few demos on here just to demonstrate the possibilities with the BrainPad. So I'm gonna go through them and show you the different things that we did with the BrainPad with like very, very few lines of code. And these are just examples to give you a quick idea of what things you can do with the BrainPad. Uh, this first demo is a little game. Uh, this is about 100 lines of code. The idea here was how much can you do with very, very few lines of code? We're talking about a full game where we chose score and lives and keeps track of your score. So I'm, I have a, like a, a falling ball, yin yang symbol that's falling down and then I have used the stick at the bottom to catch it. It's kind of like Pong. So if I'm not playing it right, I'll end up lose. Now I have one live. And it shows you lose, gives you the score. Everything here you see is about 100 lines of code. So you can write a full game, quite easily. Uh, you need a little bit of experience. This would not be like the first entry level for kids, but it's definitely a, a quick way to learn things. Uh, now, this is a little bit more advanced example. Also about 100 lines of code, maybe 120. So I have like a something similar to Space Invaders in this demo. The next demo right here. Uh, this is perfect uh, for physics, for example. We here have different circles on the screen that are bouncing around, and the size of circles actually has effects, like in real life, if a larger object, that's the weight. It's, it's a larger circle hitting a small circle causes the small circle to go a lot faster. And you can see that over here, the smaller circle is bouncing around really quick, where the larger circle is going really slow. The next one. A 3D cube, uh, we're using trigonometry here, and we're converting like, from 3D space to 2D space on the, on the screen. A few lines of code, like uh, 10, 20 lines of code. This can also be used uh, where you can, t for example, modify this and take the acceleration to, to like t tilt a cube on the screen or the buttons, temperature. Next example, uh, over here I'm just using the acceleration to move the uh, happy face on the screen. And this is also demonstrate how you can rotate, uh, if you have an image and you want to rotate it like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, that's built into the brain pad driver. Uh, this is a, this might end up being the demo that ships on the brain pad. So this, through this you can go through everything on the brain pad and try it. So if I go to the buzzer, Increase the frequency. So this is 170 hertz, for example. Uh, let me show you something else. So the accelerometer, uh, you can graph or show a number. Let's do a graph. So now if I tilt the brain pad, uh, there's a graph on the screen that show the acceleration. So how much I have tilted the brain pad. And this is measuring acceleration, of course, uh, through, I mean, measuring gravity. Now, the brain pad on its own is terrific. You can do a lot with it. But then what if you want to take this one step further? This is where the brain pad has a, an expansion 
connector and this connector you can use to add, let me show you on the side how it looks. So you can use this connector to add all kind of modules. Now those are modules that are standardized by a company called Micro Electronica and they make these click modules that have similar pinout. They are similar to shields on an Arduino if you're familiar with that, but they're a lot smaller. Uh, so the pinout here is compatible, meaning you can grab any of those uh, click modules, plug them in, and you're ready to use them. We want to provide a lot of these as part of the package that comes with the brain pad, like drivers, um, the uh, curriculum, the lesson plan, everything will be pro provided to you. So you don't really need to understand everything when you're using, for example, this is an FM uh, click module. You don't need to understand the chip and dig into the data sheet. That would be too much for, a, uh, for an educator, for example, but we're providing you the driver for it. So at the end, through IntelliSense, this would be very simple. You just FM radio, dot, and then you get a list of options like volume, station, and whatever options that are available by that specific module. So in this here, I have a, uh, um, in this example, I just uh, playing one of the radio stations and it's playing right here and here. Now, I also, I'm also graphing on the, on the screen doing some trigonometry and uh, drawing like some polar equations on, on the screen. Now, this is two different examples. You can use that to like read a math class, for example, and you can also take on the FM driver and built um, like a homemade alarm clock that plays radio in the morning. Uh, so, or any, any other example you can think of using an FM radio. And we're gonna do like other tech talks where we'll take maybe take this FM chip and we are every episode we talk about building up a project. So at the end you have like this super uh, smart alarm clock. In this example, uh, we wanna ex talk about, let's say in this lesson, uh, uh, you're teaching about uh, transferring data wirelessly. And in this case, the technology used is infrared. So there is infrared transmitter receiver on each one of these brain pads and they are transferring data to each other. So the two brain pads right now that I have plugged in, uh, every time I press a button on one brain pad, it's gonna transfer a number. It's gonna transmit a number through infrared to the other brain pad. And same if I press the other button on the other brain pad, it will send its own number to, back to the other brain pad. So for comparison, now we have 29, 29 showing on both screens. I press the button and this will be, this brain pad will be counting and incrementing these numbers to the other brain pad. The other brain pad is receiving them. Going back to this uh, brain pad right here, I can press the button and this will be sending its number back on the other brain pad. A quick demo to show wireless technologies. Now this can be Bluetooth, can be Wi-Fi, but with infrared there is no setup, just like your TV remote. There's not, there's, you don't need to configure anything. It's just data being transmitted from one side to the other. You don't need to understand the details, of course, like everything else, we're providing drivers. Now, you have used the brain pad on its own, you have used the click modules, there is over 200 of these click different modules that you can use on the brain pad. And let's say, but you wanna take this one step further and you wanna do your own thing. So in this case, um, I'm, let's say you wanna do robotics. And in this example over here, I have a servo motor, and the servo motor, we have two servo connections on the brain pad. And this is showing the position of the servo motor. If I press the buttons, it's going one side versus another. Uh, this, you can, for example, make a, like a large bar graph where uh, this would be like the pointer pointing to the, let's say the temperature. It could be something large that, that the uh, students would build and, they, uh, and they, it would make understanding the concept nicer because they're building something behind it. Uh, another example here, I have a robot, and in this robot, when I press the left button, it will start the cycle, which is it goes forward for, it for two seconds and then backward for two seconds, and then it spins for two seconds. Let me stop it. Now, this is something I found on Amazon, so it's really easy to get the chassis and, and build it up and add the servos on the back. This is, these are continuous servos, meaning they don't go to a direction like the other servo we just shown. They, these servos just go complete circle. 
and the driver that comes with the brain pad already controlled either or you can choose which one you want to use and then I found this really thin battery at Micro Center uh, it's only six dollars it's beautiful battery really thin and goes perfectly between the chassis and the brain pad so it's concealed down there and I can use it to power up the brain pad now you want to be even more advanced, you want to learn about electronics and, and dig right into um, the wires and wire things yourself. This will be a perfect example. I, can, I added a, uh, a, a, a ultrasonic distance sensor on here and then with this sensor I can uh, add like wires from the, from the breadboard they added on the chassis, uh, connect them to these uh, connections right here, the expansion, those are normally used to add in the click as an intermediate step but if you want to build your own this is where you can do that so you can add the wires over here and then I'm using the brain pad to measure distance for example I hope you are as excited as we are about the brain pads if you don't have a brain pad yet talk to us we have one for you see you next week <laughs>